All right, so step one in installing Sidekick. What you need to do is open up your App Store. Go to the search column and start typing in Campaign Sidekick. It'll be this app right here. I already have it downloaded so it says open, but you can go ahead and click the download button and wait for it to download. Now that we have the app downloaded, we'll start to put in our login. As you guys can see on your package, you guys all have individualized logins that you can log in and we can walk through this together. When you go to the Choose Your Campaign, Ohio will be the one option you have, so click Ohio. Here's the home screen. You can see total doors knocked all time. And if you swipe to the right, you can then see total houses walked today. And then phone banks if you made any phone calls today. To start walking, you'll click walk in the bottom left corner, and you'll see your assigned walk list for the day. Click on yours. This is now the map of all the targeted voters you will be talking to today. As you can see, you can start to see the main roads that you'll be around and just the total area that you'll be canvassing in the area. This walk list is right on Tylersville. And Cincinnati Dayton. As you start to look around, you can start to see where it might be best to park your car. That way you don't have to move it multiple times during the day. Now that we're ready to get started, let's click on the first house. As you see here, we have John, a 61-year-old male who is a Republican. We know he's probably going to be friendly to us. After you get to the door, you can click Select, and that will bring up all the options for what might happen at the door. As you can see, we have Available for Survey, which is if they answer the door and answer our questions. Left literature is if you knocked on the door and they did not answer. Refuse survey is if the voter answers the door and doesn't have time to take the survey. Address not found can be used as the voter has moved or you simply could not find the address. No soliciting is if they have a no soliciting sign on the door. Gated is if they have a gate in front of the house that you cannot open. Vacant is the voter has moved or they have a moving sign out and you can see the padlock on the door. Not safe can be marked as a lot of things. It can be marked as uh, having a dog in the yard that you don't feel comfortable going up to or that it just simply does not seem safe for you to go up to. Apartment means that it is an apartment complex and it does not let you in. When the voter is home and ready to take the survey, this is what it will look like. In every single survey, we are going to be asking every voter if they support the president. As you can see here, the question reads, if the election for president was held today, would you vote for President Donald Trump or the Democratic candidate? As you ask the person, they might not give you a straight answer. But in this case, John gave us a straight answer and said President Trump. Also on every survey, 
we'll be having a question about our two Supreme Court justices that are running in 2020. This question reads, Ohioans will be electing two Ohio Supreme Court justices in 2020. Can Justice Kennedy and Justice Judy French count on your vote for re-election? And like I said in the earlier one, you might have some people that don't know much about these candidates, and they might not know. So you can click undecided, and if they have any questions or comments, make sure to write them down on your notepad or put them in the comment section. And the last one will be about the person running for office in your area. So if you're knocking out in Middletown, it'll be can Thomas Hall count on your vote for state representative. 